quack quack welcome back in, the, in this video we're going to look at the rubber ducky so this is a usb that uh, hack five cells that basically acts as a keyboard and lets you be a big time hacker so <laughs> here you can see some of their payloads that they have and tutorials Today we're gonna do something that, uh, so basically my office, every time someone leaves their computer unlocked, we try to mess with them. There's nothing more embarrassing than when you're trying to mess with them and they come back and they see you in the computer. So we're gonna make it that you change their uh, background in a few seconds with a rubber ducky. So for that, we're gonna need obviously a rubber ducky. And then we're gonna have to clone the repo that I was just on. Um, here it is for re reference. And in here we're going to need the encoder. Uh, here I have a few. So B, D, and E are different files that I've done in the past. Um, but basically what we're going to want is the change background. And change background PS1. So uh, let's go through it. We're going to open our check background text file. So as we can see here, uh, we have... Uh, Windows R, so GUI is basically the Windows R key, and then we have it running this uh, PowerShell. Um, so basically, what that's gonna do, so if we do Windows R, it's gonna open this, and then you have delay. So this is for when you're plugging in the device; it takes it a little bit to uh, come up. And then we do string PowerShell, and then we get the uh, volume label that. It, its name is lower uh, underscore, which is, that's what I named my rubber ducky, as you can see down here, underscore. And um, and then I get the uh, PowerShell script that I copied into there, which is this PowerShell script that basically changes your uh, wallpaper. So basically you pass it a uh, URL and, and then you just set that image as the ba background image very simple. Uh, the reason is you can see in this one I left it with a real name just because it's easier but when you're doing like rubber duck or anything you're trying to minimize the keystrokes that you're typing because it takes longer so that's why I usually use D or B or E. In this one I just left the full name just so we know what we're doing since it's the first time we're doing this. So now we're gonna open a command line and we're gonna invoke uh, the doc encoder. Um, so basically, you're giving the input file, then the output file is inject.bin. That's basically the file that when you, when the rubber ducky gets plugged in, it's a file that it reads and follows the actions from it. So that's uh, what we're doing. And if you, right now it's set up for English, but if you have a different layout, like let's say Spanish, you could change it by adding a dash L and ES or whatever the country code it is. They don't support all the country codes, but you can see in their GitHub which uh, country codes they support. So once it, you do this, it creates a file, uh, and then you click and drag them into the E. I already did it, so I'm just going to skip it. And now you can, once you have programmed it, you pull it out and you put the other one in. And you can test it. And I don't think I showed my background before, but this is my new background. Uh, I'll, it's usually it's my Dr. Vodka one, so let me just do it again so you guys can see it. So I have the Dr. Vodka background um, here. Then I plug in the rubber ducky. And it runs its thing, and there you go. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.